go fishing. I'm here at Bailey Mac Camp with owners Roger and Crystal Thiessen. Roger and I are going to head over to Cliff Lake. Bailey Mac Camp is located on the shores of River Lake. They have six beautiful renovated cottages for rent and they have access to the Cliff Lake Conservation Reserve. It's several trails through beautiful old growth forest in a wonderful wilderness setting. A beautiful hike for sure. And we'll be over fishing on Cliff Lake and we'll see a little bit of that from the lake as well as hopefully get some beautiful pike out of there. There's supposed to be some nice big pike in, in Cliff Lake and uh, hopefully we'll get lucky. Beautiful walk into Cliff Lake. Here we are on the shore of Cliff Lake, getting ready to get out and Embark on a little fishing trip. I tell you, the scenery back here is beautiful. It was a nice hike back in. Although, I highly recommend if you're going to hike back into a place, minimize your tackle gear. Roger, what, what can we expect uh, to find here in Cliff Lake? Well, we can expect to find some uh, smallmouth bass and some pike. And uh, what, uh, what kind of depth are we fishing in? Probably about 10 15 feet. Clear water. The depth of this lake is about 108 in total. And uh, what kind of lure are you uh, you planning on using? Something in a red and white series. Uh, it's usually a uh, floating, goes maybe five six feet below, and usually a pike will like that. In the background, you can see the cliff cliff face that. Uh, Cliff Lake is known for such a beautiful cliff face and uh, it's quite an extensive trail that you can hike. Roger's using a, a nice red and white lure. I'll give you a little picture of that later on. I'm going to try the standard hot and top that I've been using uh, all year and uh, see if that produces. If not, we'll switch it up into something uh, a little more red and white hike friendly first fish. We've only been fishing out here for about uh, maybe 10 minutes tops. Roger pulled in this beautiful pike here. The size of that thing. Roger's got his first pike using this red and silver. It's almost like Rapala shallow dive. One big pike. Great looking fish. Look at the teeth on that one. Eh? Oh yeah. I tell you, that's one of those fish you just don't want to get your hand in. Like maybe he was a little Great. bit hungry. Great fish. And there he goes. Back down. Beautiful fish, a lot of fun. something. Mike's catching something here. But it's, it's a real little something. <laughs> Good one. We use that one for bait maybe, eh? Yeah, I think <laughs> that some of those pike would like this. Just a little bass. Yeah, little buddy. I really don't want you. Oh, he took it good too. Wow, right through the jaw too. Oh yeah. Buddy. Good one. Zoom. Off you go. Get big. First fish, a little small. Uh, Roger's definitely showing me up on this one. Don't feel bad, I do that usually. <laughs> <laughs> so, what makes uh, Cliff Lake uh, special, Roger? Um, Cliff Lake is so special because. There are no cottages on here. There are uh, a couple of campsites, but 
very few people ever use them, so very little traffic on this lake. I have been once and out of the uh, eight years that I've been here have I seen somebody on this lake. Um, the hike itself is absolutely gorgeous. So take a look at the surrounding area and see the different lakes from a way high uh, elevation. Probably one of the highest elevations in this area. It's absolutely gorgeous. You get to see Cliff Lake, Rib Lake, Fat Lake, and Friday Lake from that walk. You get to see an old uh, uh, sugar shack where they used to collect the maple syrup in the early spring and it's still there. And then there's an old prospector's uh, cabin also on the hike. You get to see some of the uh, trees that have never been cut for hundreds of years, some big, big uh, white cedar that are absolutely gorgeous to look at. Um, there's a crevice up in the top, um, quite a deep and long, long, I believe it's about 1,200 feet long, the crevice. It's absolutely beautiful to walk in and out of it and around it, and the spectacle that you see from it. Um, just beautiful. Stay tuned for more Fish Tomogamy, but first we'd like to thank this episode's sponsors. Do you wish you could take the kids to the beach and have the waves slap your feet? Maybe play with them at the playground, have a barbecue at the lake, or a family campfire. Then cast your line at Ridgewood Cottages. Are you too busy to enjoy a walk through nature? Bond with your family? Head out on the lake, or make a splash. Relax and reclaim life at Bailey Mac Camp. Now I know I started off with the hot and tot, but uh, you know we trolled around for quite a while, didn't get anything, and I had to switch to the uh, standard Pike standby, the Red Devil. Rog slapped on a uh, five of diamonds. We're just using some spoons now, and we're gonna see uh, see if we can't get one more before the day's done. Pike are have just the ability to go for. Quick, quick bursts. Really oh, tire the them size out. of that baby. Nice pike. You really want to tire these things out before you try getting the hook out. Uh, they're the type of fish that when they start to flail around, you can easily put a hook into your finger. He's exhausted. <laughs> That's the way I like my pike. So, still trying. <laughs> yeah, see, he just wanted you to think he was exhausted. And then, boom, they go. All right. Wow. Nice fish. Look at that. Look at that pike. What a beautiful fish. Put up a great fight. Now Roger's gonna put him back. We're practicing catch and release. All right, Rog. Beautiful. Let that, Ready? Let yeah, let him go. And away, uh, man, that didn't take him long to go. Just zip down, gone. Well, we caught two pike and a very small bass today, but uh, you know, the beautiful thing about it was we were on a beautiful lake, beautiful scenery, and uh, you know, if you're out there spending time fishing, you can't get better than that. Thanks, Rog, for uh, taking me out. You're very welcome. We had good fun out there. Yeah, enjoyed it. A couple nice pike and uh, exciting, exciting catch. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to do it again someday. Hope so. Yep, yeah, let's do that.
So I've got the Red Devil that I used to catch that pike in Cliff Lake. And I want to demonstrate the, uh, the technique I was using there. You can do it either casting or trolling, but when you're casting, you're going to have to reel in a little bit of line while trolling, you'll just be, uh, be using the technique without reeling in. So what you do, cast out, let the lure sink down a little bit. Of course, be mindful of what kind of depth you're, uh, you're dealing with here. Uh, you don't want to let it sink down too far and sit on the bottom and start snagging things. And pull. And as you bring the rod back, reel in a little bit of line, but you're going to let that lure flutter down a little bit and pull and flutter, pull, rod back, reel in. Now if I was trolling, I would just bring my rod forward and then let it come back so that the lure has a chance to drop. Give it a sharp tug, lure drops. Sharp tug, lure drops. And if you use this kind of technique, it gives the lure a lot more action in the water because that lure is going to jump through the water and then flutter down, jump through the water, flutter down, and it drives fish nuts. So anytime you're using a spoon like this, Red Devil, Williams Wobbler, anything like that, try giving it that kind of action instead of just pulling it in straight or dragging it behind the boat. Uh, they have a nice action by themselves, but you can really increase your odds by giving it that jerk and then drop.